Okay, so lots of meetings today. I'm just going to do something quick and easy that's long lasting. So let's get cracking. Take some of the old moisturiser just so that my skin looks nice and fresh. And then for foundation, I think I'm going to go for something that's kind of not crazy dewy, not too matte, just something that looks like my real skin but will cover. So I'm going to use a bit of the Chanel Vitalinia Aqua. Can't do the shade 20, but. I'm just gonna do this with my fingers. Quickness. I'm just gonna slap that on. I just find this foundation works really nicely with fingers. Okay, nice clean, flawless base. Then I'm gonna use as an eye primer, I'm gonna use Flax. This is Laura Mercier Eye Basics. Love this stuff for just cheating that you've had lots of sleep gets rid of all those veins, anything that if you're nervous before a job interview and you've not slept, they'll never know. So I'm just going to keep it simple, you want something that you don't have to worry about what it's going to go with in terms of what you wear, so I'm just going to use some neutrals by MAC. So I'm going to start with a bit of nylon, just in the inner corner. We'll just use that to brighten. Nearly forgot my brows, doesn't matter about the order. I'm just going to do a quick bit of Bobbi Brown long wear, perfect defining brow. And again, even if you sweat during your interview or get nervous, this isn't going to go anywhere. I'm going to take a little bit of wood winked into my crease of my socket, just to give a little bit of definition. open my eyes up a little bit more and then get another brush and I'm just gonna blend that all out. All I'm gonna do on the eyes with what's left on the brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of that underneath. Then for liner I'm gonna use an eyeshadow instead of a liquid liner because I think if you're nervous as well you've got a wobbly hand it's just gonna get a bit messy so I'm just gonna take a small winged brush by Sigma and I'm using, this shade is Mystery by MAC. And we're gonna do standard kind of hairy flick, but that little bit softer and use powder. And you don't even have to do a flick, you know, if you just wanna give your eyes a bit of dimension, a bit of shape, even just adding that little bit of line to the top is better. And it's nice because it's still soft. So that's looking like my eyes are a bit more open. Another trick you can do if you do want it a really strong liner is just map out with your shadow and then go all the way over with a liquid concealer. And I'm gonna use some double wear Estee Lauder Stay In Place, this is the high cover. So you can use this under the eyes and any spots you might have. And again, I'm just gonna do it on my finger. Eye bags keep gone, I love this stuff. And I'm just gonna do it on my finger for speed. One final tidy up under the eyes before I set everything with some powder. I'm just looking like me, but on a good day. A little bit of powder, and then I'm not going to bother with bronze or anything like that. And I'm going to use a bit of this blush by Chanel. This is Orchid Rose. A bit of Orchid Rose by Chanel. Just makes you look nice and bright. I'm actually going to use quite a big brush, and I'm just going to give a bit of shape. But I'm using quite a big brush because I want it to be fast and natural looking. Get a bit of colour back. And this has got like a tiny bit of sheen in, so you're still going to look healthy and like you've slept lots and you take good care of yourself. You can take Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk. And I'm going to use this all over the lip like a lipstick. It'll be really long lasting then as well. 
So it's just like a My Lips but better shade. And then I'm just gonna take my eight hour cream and do a dot in the middle, and then I can just touch up with this throughout the day. Don't put that on my teeth, anything like that. But it just makes it kind of like a lipstick. So that is pretty much the finished thing. I think I'll take some powder with me just to wash that chin area. And yeah, that's pretty much the finished look. If you do have an interview, good luck. And if you have a meeting, I hope it goes well.